The COVID pandemic has us all using more internet than ever before. Tons of people are working from home, including myself. Lots of kids are doing online school. And if you're anything like me, your iPhone keeps telling you every freaking Sunday that your usage went up by 10%. Okay, Apple, I get it. I have no life. Thanks so much for the reminder. So with all this internet use, have internet speeds increased or decreased since all of this started in March? Well, I have the answer. You just gotta keep watching to find out. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my videos. I publish every Wednesday and Friday and do a live video every Monday where you can ask me all the questions you wanna ask and just interact with me, I guess. If you've been using the internet during this pandemic, at the beginning, you probably noticed your internet speeds were unbearably slow, or at the very least, you were noticing some buffering during gaming or watching Netflix or streaming. That's because at the beginning, internet speeds were slower than they are now, according to one survey. Now I know this because Wislau conducted that survey. Yes, we do more than just cell phones at wislau.com. You can learn more about us and find your next cell phone or internet plan, or look at a bunch of our other surveys that we've done at wislau.com and I'm linking that over here. Now we found that internet speeds are 10 megabits per second faster than pre-pandemic speeds. Internet speeds increased from 85 megabits per second to 95, all this despite the fact that our cable internet bandwidth has had more strain on it than ever before, with usage up by at least 25% since before the pandemic started. Now that number is according to the Wall Street Journal. Now to find out how much internet speeds increased, we looked at 720,000 internet speed tests and compared the data sets from January to March of 2020 and then March to July of 2020. But why did internet speed up with increased demand? Well, there's a few reasons that this could be the case. More people could have bought higher internet speed plans. Some providers increased speeds to some customers depending on their location. And some states just had major government pushes to get fiber and cable to rural areas. Now, those states saw the biggest increases. Wyoming speeds increased by 52%, Alaska's speeds increased by 40%, Kentucky's speeds increased by 37%, Kansas speeds increased by 36%, and Missouri speeds increased by 31%. Now these are the five states that saw the biggest internet speed increases since January. You could say these Midwest states are opening the Wi-Fi. Now, at least two of these states, Wyoming and Alaska in particular, have had huge pushes within their government the last few years to get more and better internet to rural areas across their states. Now, the rest of these states also have a lot of rural areas. So stick with me for a second. Their bar for fast internet was already low, so it didn't take too much to get their speeds faster, which is why, in my opinion, they are the states with the highest increases. They had the most room for improvement. Are you from any of those states? Let me know if you've noticed faster internet in the comments below. Now, not every state has seen increases in their internet speed. Some speeds have slowed down like they have in West Virginia, Hawaii, Delaware, Connecticut, and Washington, DC. All of these states minus Hawaii are on the East Coast where it's a bit more crowded than the West Coast and Midwest. So it makes sense that the increased pressure on bandwidth in these states couldn't totally support the users. Now, our study and survey also found that West Virginia already struggled with internet problems before the pandemic, along with Connecticut and Delaware, and adding in the pandemic created a whole new storm to deal with. This is how much their internet speeds decreased from before the pandemic to during the pandemic. West Virginia speeds decreased by 13%. Hawaii speeds decreased by 8%. Delaware speeds decreased by 8%. And Connecticut speeds decreased by 6%. And lastly, Washington DC speeds decreased by 2%. In the comments, let me know how your internet speeds are handling the pandemic. Are your speeds slower or faster? Did you notice a difference from before the pandemic to during and now kind of after? I can't wait to hear from you. I wanna hear what you have to say. I'm Sherry Riggs, thanks for watching with Slab TV.